let's review the key characters in the fall of the House of Usher. The first is Roderick Usher. The very creepy, decidedly haunted House of Usher is the namesake home of Roderick Usher. Both local legend and his own beliefs link Roderick the man with the physical house in which the Usher family has so long lived, as if they were one singular being. Roderick is an educated man and an intellectual. He's an avid reader and plays guitar, but despite his talents, almost his entire existence is consumed by his sorrow over his sister's illness, his own illness, and fear-driven mental conditions brought on by his house. His visiting friend, the narrator, finds Roderick tremendously changed, both physically and mentally, since they were childhood friends. Because of his illness, Roderick is extremely sensitive to external stimuli, which limits what he can eat, hear, see, and smell without pain. And Roderick is bound to his sister, Madeline, another key character. As twins, they were born together. As adult siblings, they lived together. As people who were functionally two parts of a single whole self, they also become sick and die together. However, Madeline barely exists in the story, except as Roderick's sister and double, and as the embodiment of illness. Her doctors don't know what's wrong with her, only that she's wasting away and subject to fits of catalepsy, during which she becomes completely rigid and doesn't respond to the outside world at all. At those moments, it's as if she's already dead. When she isn't suffering one of these spells, Madeline drifts from place to place without speaking to people or seeming to see them as if she were a ghost. Madeline's major appearance in the story occurs after she seems to have died. She's buried alive and then comes back covered in blood, having clawed her way out of her tomb. She collapses on her brother and they die together as their house collapses. Another important character is the narrator. The narrator says very little directly about himself, including his name, his thoughts and actions, though, tell readers a great deal about him. He and Roderick were friends when they were boys, but haven't been close since. He still cares enough to travel to visit Roderick at his family home, and he experiences the world through an abstracted lens. This can be seen in the story's opening paragraphs, when he tries to see the landscape around the House of Usher in terms of the sublime. Later, the narrator takes on some of Roderick's nervous condition, and he tries to care for Roderick as that condition worsens. He is the ultimate witness in the end to the fall of the House of Usher.